I feel like I can beat everyone here. That's how I feel. But I have to show myself that and prove and just make sure, you know, I play my game, that's it. Like, I'm not saying that, you know, it's gonna be easy because I know it's gonna be hard. Every turn I won has, has been difficult. My first opponent is a perfect legend. Of course, a very, very well-known player, a really good player as well. X-ray, oh, it's not man. even gonna work. He teleported right into the hat and then feel converted it. Yes. Perfect legend. Perfect legend. And we didn't see a break from Dab simply because he didn't have the stamina. Taco, honestly, I don't know much about him. I don't know what character he plays. Uh, I've never really watched a match review of him or anything like that. But I hope to give him a good match. I don't want to like be like, oh, I'm just going to body him because I don't know. I don't know how good he is. Oh, once he starts going in, he really starts oh, going that in. was risky. And he's going to pay for it. For me, like, if there's added pressure, it's, it's kind of hard to really say for me right now, because right now I'm not I'm not going to say I'm the best player. Honestly, I feel like no one's the best player until they win the ESL. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can steal the win because these guys, they played against each other. They have, of course, players like Tom Brady and other character specialists, but uh, from what I've seen, people in Europe do play slightly different, different characters, different ways of playing, and I kind of expect to surprise them with my style of play. I want to keep things competitive and very, you know, fun because this is an opportunity for us to show the world how competitive fighting games are and how it can, how it is a spectator sport. So I think it's more important than me winning or anyone winning. It's more so about like, you know, growing it.